Hi, my name is Drew Welsh. I'm a freelance robotics engineer. If you or a loved one that has a unique disability need and could assist for robotic devices, please contact me. My link is in the description. If you'd like to see what I'm capable of, please continue watching as, as I'll show you my first client. Hi, my name is Bernie Jorn. I'm a friend of Drew Welsh, and I'm in a power wheelchair that helps me get around because I'm not able to walk or use my arms. The one thing that I've found over the years that's been a problem with this is being able to push the small buttons that control speed changes, tilting, uh, and other aspects of the wheelchair that I've had to ask other people to push for me. In the past, this includes reclining or changing speeds or anything really functional to this chair. And so, uh, we called Drew and see if he could help us out. The constraint of not being able to directly interface with the electrical system of the wheelchair required us to get a little bit creative in how we were going to do this. Um, I ended up settling upon our cheap RC servos. Um, these press the buttons for him uh, by just moving little arms onto them, and it still allows them to be pressed normally by other users. Let's get a quick demo of how Bernie can turn on the wheelchair and recline using this system. Check two. Check four. Goes back far. Sure does. And I can stay back as long as I want to until I tell it to push a button. Let's we come back down. Check for check for <coughs> check two. And it's back off. Perfect. Now we'll set it up to drive and have the back of the wheelchair face the camera. Check two. Check three. Check three. Perfect, thank you. All of the control electronics live in this bag which sits in the back of the wheelchair. Included is a rechargeable USB power bank, a Raspberry Pi 4 with a servo hat that runs ser four servos, and this project box with a small servo and a button inside of it. If you or a loved one has unique disability needs and cannot find a solution, please contact me. My website and my email are in the description of this video. Now, let's check out a testimonial from Bernie's wife. Okay, it's going. Ready, okay, so I am so grateful for Drew coming to help my husband with getting his um, wheelchair to work. So, but he was injured 40 plus years ago. And so, after 40 years of sitting in a wheelchair, pressure relief is absolutely paramount to prevent him from getting pressure sores. Um, because the pressure sore on his behind can keep him in bed and keep him from going to work, participating in activities, etc. So, um, when he was younger, um, he, w he had the strength to be able to lift his arm and he had a butterfly switch on the side of his chair that he could switch the modes of the wheelchair from drive to lean back and that sort of thing. But as he's gotten older, he's had some medical illnesses, he does not have the control that allows him to lift his arm from the side to the hand control. So more recently, he's been able to control the chair, but he could not switch from the mode from drive to lean back, etc. 
So the regular wheelchair people did their best. I get that. They put a headset behind him. They put um, butterfly switches on the sides. But unfortunately, when he would lean back, he there were some times where he couldn't reach the butterfly switches on the sides. Um, he has limited neck mobility. And just with gravity, he would shift his position just enough that he couldn't reach it. Likewise, they did try a sip and puff. Um, and the sip and puff was, was great. That works for a lot of people, and I'm not saying that that's not a good thing. Um, but for him, when he would lean back, sometimes the sip and puff straw would fall away from him. So the, the mechanical issues plus the idea that voice control just seemed to be so, much, so amazing. My gosh, they can control cars with voice control. So we decided to, we tried to look at voice control through the usual sources. Couldn't find anything, but my friend um, put us in touch with Drew Welsh and he was able to put together a mechanical solution that is amazing. And so it's a work in progress, but the, the back and forth between my husband and Drew has been phenomenal. The feedback that when Drew gets the feedback from my husband about some issue with the mechanics of the issue, he makes a change. And likewise, it's such a collaborative relationship, it is amazing to watch. And the end result is that my husband, who has lost a lot of function in his arm over the past couple of years, is going to be more independent, more able to do his own pressure relief over the next, in the, in the coming years, in a way that the standard wheelchair people were just not able to offer to him. And in a way that for him is just so much more elegant, if I can say that, in a way that for him just to be able to tell his chair to recline or tilt and let him lean back and straighten up and then to change the mode. And he can leave his hand on the T-bar all the time. That is phenomenal and that is going to so tremendously increase, get him back to the level of independence that he had before. And we're just so grateful. Thank you. You're Thanks, welcome. Drew. Thank you. Oop, you're behind the camera. Thank Love you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, come around, come in the front. Please. Thank you. And oh my gosh, he's Thank been you. so brave. The mosquitoes have been evil. And he has braved mosquitoes and Florida heat in order to help us do this. Thank you. Please go. <clears throat> Bye. I don't if you or someone you know needs a unique disability device, please contact me.